2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid Review, Diet Truck. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. As a toddler, I attempted to run over a neighbor in a late 1980s Dodge Omni. How this happened and what motivated me to fail at vehicular manslaughter isn't important, but as my family tells it, the incident is what prompted my dad to buy his first pickup truck. I was too short to reach the door handles on the Dodge Ram he replaced the Omni with, and therefore, I couldn't maim my fellow residents until I was taller. In the 30-odd years since that purchase, my dad has been a truck man, trading in and leasing new Dodge and Ram products every three years but I can count on one hand the number of times he's used one of those vehicles to do truck things. There was the occasional load of mulch, and we towed a pop-up camper a few times in my murderous youth, but by and large his trucks existed to get our family from A to B. Whether this is a common occurrence among truck owners, I can't say for certain. But I suspect most of them would be happier with something like the 2022 Ford Maverick. The Maverick is a return to basics, of sorts, with few frills beyond a usable bed and a sizable backseat, and fewer still of the sacrifices larger, more capable trucks demand. That combo comes at an accessible starting price and, in the case of this hybrid-powered tester, on truck-like fuel economy numbers. The Maverick's exterior might not be for all truck buyers, of course. One could even call this curvy little thing cute, with its rounded front end and pert butt. The F-Series cues, such as the C-clamp headlights, Largish grille and Maverick stamping on the tailgate are a bit like a toddler wearing his dad's work boots, adorable and absurd in equal measure. Considering the ultra butch pickups of today, though, the Maverick's friendly exterior is a breath of fresh air. Still, I do worry that Ford has leaned a little too far into cute and cuddly. Leaving the wheel arches unpainted and offering a sportier grille slash bumper option would add just a touch of sportiness that might broaden the truck's appeal. Overall, the Maverick's exterior is less interesting than the flashier Hyundai Santa Cruz, with its more sporting posture, even if its overall height is down 2 inches on the Maverick, and high-sided bed. The Maverick's interior is a masterclass on how to make cheap interesting. Plastic dominates, and much of it is the hard, unyielding variety. But Ford dresses up the cabin with fresh shapes, textures, and a liberal use of color, all of which overshadow the low-ret materials. The door panels are fantastic, with a splash of anodized bronze on the grab handle contrasting well with the grey door pocket and its geometric detailing. That same anodized bronze appears again on the dash, with an integrated element stretching the width of the cabin and proudly showing off exposed bolts. Beyond the materials, the Maverick's cabin is par for the course. It plucks all its primary interfaces from the Ford parts bin, sharing its steering wheel, climate controls, 6.5-inch in cluster display, and 8.0-inch touchscreen with the Bronco Sport and Escape, which ride atop the same modular front-drive architecture. These are all fine items, but they feel a bit generic relative to the flashier elements in the cabin. The Maverick's budget price has little impact on its level of comfort. The front seats are supportive and well-padded, while the leather at upholstery feels plenty rich. This tester's lariat trim adds 8-way power adjustability on the driver's side, although the passenger's controls remain manual. Sightlines are excellent in all directions, owing to the Maverick's expansive greenhouse. While customers might question whether to go with a larger, more capable Ranger or opt for the Maverick, those that use all five seats will want the smaller truck. The MOV has more headroom in both rows and 1.4 inches of extra second row legroom. The rear bench lifts up, exposing a sizable storage cubby, while huge door pockets and an ample center console provide plenty of room for stuff. The bed isn't huge, but Ford cites 33.3 cubic feet of space, and as my colleague Brett T. Evans has shown, it's a versatile space with tie-downs and other options for hauling. Ford's decision to opt for a unibody design over a body-on-frame layout means that, like the Honda Ridgeline, the Maverick rides more like a crossover than a pickup truck. On paved roads, the Ford shrugs off bumps and potholes with none of the annoyances common in larger vehicles. Get off-road, though, and the more primitive twist-beam rear suspension, the only setup available on front-drive Mavs, struggles over washboard surfaces, with a limited stability requiring lower speeds. Still, the Maverick's suspension is leaps and bounds better in everyday driving than larger trucks, like the Ranger.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.